see Clay in the water even now. He's just, he is part of the ocean. Part of the ocean. I can't explain it any other way. He just gets in the water and it's like this big boulder comes off of him and he's just. How do you get a surfer that can only do his best surfing when he's totally not thinking? I think more than most people I've ever met, he moves to the beat of his own drum. Everybody has a niche in life, everybody has a place they belong, and that's where he belongs. Clay Marza belongs in the ocean. It's a long, hard road if you want to be a professional surfer. He's got the talent, that's for sure, but, you know, only talent can take you so far. I first saw Clay at the Nationals at Lowers when he got two tens. He put together these waves that he did uh, two or three air reverses on, and it was the most progressive stuff I'd seen up to, up to date. Nationals, I was surfing over this wave. I started to make everything. I was just doing like good turns, and I was just like looking into my dad, and everyone was watching me, and I just felt really good. Clay, he was uh, a little bit more of a fierce competitor back then. He definitely uh, turned a lot of heads. He woed the beach daily. I knew he was special, but around the age of 15 was when he really blew up the hardest. He got on that Quicksilver Young Guns trip. All of a sudden, he had Kelly Slater dubbing him as the best drum in the world. It felt like surreal just to see myself in the videos. Yeah, it was pretty cool just to be surfing with the best. Marzo, he's the true original. I, I've never seen anybody do this sort of surfing that he does. Clay's whole approach to surfing is wild. He goes just on pure feeling. His vision is raw, radical, fast. It's so effortless for him. just makes surfing look like a whole nother thing. His focus when he is in a contest or in a free surf, like you, you see how much fun he's having, but at the same time, when you watch him while he's on a wave, he is in a totally different world. He sees things differently on a wave than, than anybody else I've seen. He's spontaneous, and that to me is the mark of the very best. When I first saw him surf, I was like, he knows things I don't know, you know? I mean, he just goes for it on every wave, absolutely every wave. He doesn't pull back, he charges. Looks like nothing's ever going to get made and everything is made. That's the way it's designed to be. It's just on edge. Still my favorite surfer to this day. Asperger syndrome is uh, Clay's gift. Clay probably wouldn't be Clay Marzo without it. He's so unique and he's so interesting. Clay's like a real rain man. Clay's like a, an official surfing savant. Asperger's is a form of autism. It's what we call a higher form. They're able to sort of function in society and seem normal, but yet have enormous problems with social interaction. The trouble is, people will say people who suffer from Asperger's. No, you don't suffer from Asperger's, you suffer from other people. Yeah, Asperger's, they're not like normal people where like, they like feed off crowds and stuff. Just kind of never really been my thing, crowds. To me, it just means that, I guess, you're just really into the certain thing, you're just more in, in tune with what you like and what you love, and I was just into these certain things, super into them. That's what made me different. For someone with Asperger's to succeed and to win professional events and 
be one of the top juniors and win a national title event and be an almost an ISA world champion. I mean, that's a testament to how good he is, but like a guiding light to any kid with Asperger's that if there's another guy that can do it, that they can do it too. After just that water, all of a sudden, it was on. He often would say, I don't want to be famous. I just want a simple life, simple life, simple life. Eventually, if you keep turning down opportunities, they're not going to come anymore. 